C. Lundloff videos, quadratic word problems. Alright, here's the problem. We throw an object upward from the top of a 1,200 foot tall building. The height of the object, measured in feet, t, seconds, after we threw it, is this right here. h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 160t plus 1,200. And we're asked two questions. We'll answer them in order. A. Where's the object three seconds after we threw it? Well, three seconds. That's the time, which is also t, so we'll just substitute 3 in for t. So we'll start h of 3 equals negative 16 3 squared plus 160 times 3 plus 1200. And we'll just solve. Negative 16 <coughs> times 3 squared, which would be 9, so negative 16 times 9 is negative 144. And then 160 times 3 is 480, so plus 480. And then bring that down, plus 1200. So the height of the object after 3 seconds after it was thrown would be 1536 feet. Don't forget the feet, that's the units. All right, that's A. Moving on to B. Scroll down a little bit. Okay, how long does it take for the object to hit the ground? Well, when the object is on the ground, the height is at zero. So we're gonna be taking H of T and setting that, substituting that for zero, setting the equation equal to zero. Make sure you know this is B. Now when the equation's set equal to zero, you're going to want to factor the equation. So when you start factoring, see what's easiest to take out of the equation. In this case, it looks like possibly 16 or negative 16. It might be easier to do negative 16 to get this t squared by itself in the equation. So when you factor out negative 16, <laughs> it'll be zero equals t squared minus 10t minus 75. Now how could you factor this from here? Well, think what two numbers would you add together to get negative 10 and multiply to get negative 75? So, there'll probably be multiples of 5 since you have negative 10 and negative 75. So you already factored out 16, so that's already part of the factoring. And then we can do t minus 15 and t plus 5. And that's all equal to 0. So when you set these what numbers can you substitute in for t to make the whole equation equal to zero? Well, what makes this whole factor go to zero? That would be t equals positive 15. And what would make this factor go to zero? That would be t equals negative 5. Now the question we're asked is how long does it take for the object to hit the ground? So we're looking for seconds, for time, and looking at these two possibilities, 15 and negative 5, we can't have negative time. So that one would be out. So we're left with t equals positive 15 seconds. So what you could do after that would be to substitute 15 back in for t to the original equation to check your work. So we can do that. So we have h, no we don't. Okay, so we have h of 15 equals negative 16 times 15 squared plus 160 times 15 plus 1200. And just simplifying this, 
negative 16 times 15 squared is negative 3600 plus 160 times 15 is 2400 and then bringing the 1200 down. So we have the height after the object's thrown at 15, the time of 15 seconds is we have 2400 plus 1200 which is 3600 adding to negative 3600 which is zero and that is exactly the height we wanted was when it is at the ground or the height is at zero. So that worked. So we have up here we have A where's the object after three seconds 1536 feet and B how long does it take for the object to hit the ground or height of zero and that would be at 15 seconds. Thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't already.